This young lady has a one year history of bilateral ear fullness and for about one week every month, the ear fullness in both ears gets quite severe. And during that week, she also has headaches. Uh, she has uh, come to us today uh, uh, looking for any help and uh, she's gonna tell us about her experience. Yeah. So for about a year I've had, I've done steroids, um, a slew of medications for migraines. I've had CT scans, MRIs, mouth guards, um, and nothing that has given me relief. Today I had a block in my nose and feel relief within minutes. And that was a sphenopalatine block. So we had you lie down here on the exam chair mm -hmm. and we put about uh, three quarters of a CC of 2% lidocaine in your nose and how, um, how long did it take before your headache and ear fullness diminished? So within two to three minutes, I felt a difference um, and it did not hurt at all. And I felt relief right away. That's good. So I think that the key is that your ear fullness um, really is a, uh, associated with your headache. The headache went away, but so did the ear fullness. So it's not a eustachian tube problem or any other issue that we could fix surgically. And we just need to find a good preventive uh, medication plan for your headaches. Okay. And, uh, but in the meanwhile, when headaches come, you can use this sphenopalatine block at home. We're going to give you a 4% a, a lidocaine spray in a uh, metered spray bottle that looks like a Flonase bottle. Mm -hmm. And it's safe. You can use it a couple of times a day to get relief Great. Uh, until we find something that uh, keeps it away all the time. Okay, thank you so much. I right, thank you for sharing your experience with us. I'm sure there are other people who your experience will help. Thank you.